went outside to see if she would go potty but she's a very scared anxious puppy we're fostering her until she gets adopted she is three months old probably more around like four months old now and she's really cute she's just i think acclimating very shy very scared it's with this organization called safe and sound sados and it's basically a non-profit helping dogs that are abandoned in puerto rico essentially and they get flown over and adopt them i'm gonna bring you guys on the journey because we know for a fact we'll have her for two weeks or we'll probably have her for two weeks depending on how quickly she gets adopted i'm intrigued to see if amanda gets her to go pee pee or poo poo outside <laughs> her to the pet store because she keeps escaping her harnesses like an escape artist but she's being really dramatic we might have to buy her a coat <laughs> successfully walked back like halfway who's that who is it is that mummy number one yay we're eating dominoes we're trying the tater tot Ooh! oh this looks delightful her little cow belly hello <laughs> oh my god go pee pee go on sweet girl Aww. you have to go hurry up good girl I got her this little chip bag toy and I just put a couple of treats in there for her. And it seems to be working. She took it where she can't see her reflection anymore. I think every time I sniff, she thinks it's a dog in the mirror growling at her. Good girl, look, look at this. You found it? Good girl. Let me on. Yeah, get it. Ooh, get it. You get all of them? No, I still see them. Good girl. Having a foster puppy is no joke. Having a puppy, I think in general, is no joke. Can you hear me? Are you enjoying that? She doesn't bark. Is there still a treat in here? What's going on? There's no more treats in there. You got all of them. A toy haul. We have the Raj Stinky Valley. Put it on everything. Goes great on- oh, there was another tree. Oh, good girl. Goes great on salads, tennis balls, kitchen floors, crumbled napkins. Shh, I'm trying to do a haul. Crumbled napkins, up thick socks, and more. Then we have the fries. Amanda also got these. And it's the three- we have three bits of fries that come out and they squeak. She likes those ones too. We have this, which is good for her teasing. I am so sorry. You're not going to be able to hear anything in this haul, are they? No! We have our angry broccoli because we have to balance out all the unhealthy food. So those are all the toys. Good girl. We're having trouble getting her to pee. We've only had her for like just over 24 hours and she's already made leaps and bounds in, you know, getting comfortable and going on a walk. When we, we 
had to carry her all the way to the pet shop today when I got her this fleece, but on the way back, she walked pretty much the whole way back, which was really good. No, don't bite it. Don't bite it. Should I cut that off? Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys an update because I feel like I haven't really talked to the camera very much. If you're gonna bite it, I'm gonna take it off. If you're gonna bite it, I'm gonna take it off. She's back to the fluffles. So, ooh, got a sense of that. Miss Zoe girl, it's time to go for a walk. Yay! Look at us! Oh, are you excited? Are we so excited? Come here, come here. Get your little pussy in here. How do I keep putting this on? It's wrong. I know, it's my fault, and then it takes longer, doesn't it? Wearing your patient thin. Yeah. Oh, good girls. Good girls. Come here. You smell the treats in my pocket, don't you, smart girl? I'll give you one. I'll give you one when I put your coat on. I need you to help me help you. Please, don't get put dead weight on me. I, God. Okay. A little treatsy now? Ooh. <laughs> nope. Sit down. Sit down. Good. Yes. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. You're learning so much. She's pretty smart. Yeah, she's. You're a genius. Not to brag or anything, but you're a genius. Come to the potty training. But this is from old habits. Hey, isn't it? Yeah. She thought her poo bag thing was like a toy as well. I was like, that's not a toy. That's what we need to do when you poop outside. When you poop outside. Yay. Yay. Uh, I've got the cheek. You've got the feet. <gasps> yeah, that's what you're supposed to do outside. Did you put that? to sell Zoe to Colin JP. <laughs> no, I want to keep her in the family. Ooh, but she's doing so family. well. Oh. Yeah. Oh, she looks a little scared. She's like, I'm not sure I trust this guy. That's okay. Good girl. That's okay. Just oh, don't you want a belly rub? Just don't pee pee. Yeah. Whee. Yay, Zoe! Rocky, Rocky, Rocky! You're doing so well on the floor. Yay, Zoe! Come on, yeah! JP and Zoe are matching. Adorable. Meant to be. <laughs> No. 
puppy unboxing. Look. I'm your pack naturally and instinctively. Amanda ordered this to help her hopefully not whine out at night. Oh, you like her already? Anxiety solution. It's supposed to have its heartbeat. I guess we'll see tonight. But this is her anxiety puppy to sleep with tonight. It has a heartbeat and we'll be having a, a warm hot pack. Hey vlog. I feel like I really had this vlog is going to be very patchworky because I've kind of just been filming when I have the energy to do so. I'm just making myself some dinner while Miss Zoe doll takes a little nap. Cole and JP came over today, which was nice, lovely to see them. They helped me take her for a nice long walk, her longest walk yet. We went down to the waterfront, which was nice. She was very friendly with other people. We then took her out for another walk. Probably that one was probably around 15 minutes. And both walks, she did no business, no pee, no poo. And she still hasn't peed or pooed today. She peed and pooed in her crate last night. So, and she hasn't really had that much water today, so I don't know. Other than that, life's been pretty, pretty dandy for me. How's it been for you? Tell me in the comments below. I can't believe that I'm at like 100 subscribers. My goal for the year is 500, so 400 of you. There are you. How can you not love this puppy? I mean, look at her. She's quite literally perfection. Yes, sweet girl. Hi. Yeah! Look at her little cow belly. Oh. She is the dondest, sweetest little thing. Look at her herniated umbilical cord. And oh, big stretch. She has a heart murmur as well. But it's just something to watch. Oh, I love her so much. Tonight's dinner looks not very appetizing, but I have brown rice and quinoa with roasted cauliflower and roasted sweet potato, some feta and a little bit of balsamic vinegar glaze. Honestly, having Zoe has made me more anxious than not. You'd think puppy therapy would like work, but I just feel really anxious like looking after another life form. That may sound a little ridiculous, but it genuinely has made me more anxious. And I was already in kind of an anxious state. I have my, my support water bottle to help me with my anxiety for the puppy that was supposed to be like a support puppy. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'm gonna try to not be in a panicked state. What? Do you see yourself? She keeps peeing inside. So we'll, we just rub some of the urine onto a pee pad. She's peed inside like four times today and pooped inside once. <sighs> careful, careful. <laughs> this is what happens. Are you okay? <laughs> I took Zoe out to watch the sunset and I think I traumatized her because it was very busy, very loud and when we came back into the apartment, apparently she was running so fast she pooped. The poop came out of her while she ran up the stairs because she flew up the stairs. I'm so sorry, sweet girl. You okay? Hello, everybody. It is day, what, like five? Having Miss Zoe. She, we just had the post posted about her on the organization's Instagram and someone's already interested in her and I don't know why I got all of a sudden like upset about it. So <laughs> I'm gonna take her for a walk and come on, come here. And just like enjoy the time that I have with her because it doesn't make sense for me to keep you. No, it doesn't. I know, sweet girl. You'll do really well in another home. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. She's definitely they get adopted soon, I feel like, and that just makes me kind of sad. I feel like we've made leaps and bounds with her, and she's such a scared pup that I'm like, she's gonna have such a hard time adjusting to like wherever she goes next. Yeah, yeah. She is still not sleeping all the way through the night. Last night she was up between like 2.30 and 5 30 so i didn't sleep again i think that's just like the the probably the hardest part of this whole 
whole situation is the lack of sleep that both Amanda and I are getting. But yeah, it's like having a child. You can do it. Yes. She likes words of affirmation. Mm. No. She always has to be touching. Hey. <laughs> yeah. That's what you, am I annoying you? Cause that's what you sound like at 3.30 AM. Yeah, it's giving you a taste of your own medicine, huh? Yeah. She understands sit now, but I think she thinks she's gonna get a treat literally anytime she sits at all. So when we take her out to the balcony to pee, she'll just sit on the pee pad or she'll just sit and expect us to give her treats and in the beginning we thought she wasn't food motivated at all because she wasn't eating like anything including her treats she didn't even want to smell it but now she's very food motivated so the puppy side is coming out but she's also a shadow and will follow you wherever you go stay in the middle like you a little don't want no riddle. Ma, did you say it back? Oh, say it, ditto. <laughs> I want you so I much. I am so, so tired. And what is it with dogs and socks? Is it because there's like personal smell on it? Like they can smell us? There's a family that's interested in her, in her that live in Connecticut. So they're gonna come down on Sunday to meet her, but they've already adopted with this organization before. So it would be a pretty simple process for them if they wanted Zoe. I'm sure they could just like take her whenever they wanted since they're already like pre-approved essentially. I got really emotional when I first heard that. This is not sustainable for me and Amanda to have her. I know it gets easier the older that they get and the more trained that they are, but she's gonna grow bigger and this apartment's just too small for her. As you saw with her zoomies, she really, she really makes it cover some ground when she has the zoomies. So one of my new hyper fixations for to help my anxiety is watching these Japanese bakery opening vlogs. They're amazing. I'm just watching people bake <laughs> to a bakery that I'll probably never go to. Also, happy one week. We've had you for one week, Zoe. Yeah, isn't that crazy? She doesn't care. She's in her teenage rebellious stage. Aren't you? Zoe, come here. Zoe, come here. Bombastic side eye. She just picked up an old condom. Please, <laughs> please. Down, down, good girl. Okay, okay. So depressing, oh. She's been hiding under the table a lot today. So I don't know if it's because she knows something's up. Today is the day that Zoeth leaves. She got adopted. I got a text last night at like 11 p.m. saying that someone would like to take her home today, which is actually 
perfect. I was getting a little bit stressed because Amanda is away on holiday and I have work. So I was just stressed about how we were gonna like figure out taking care of her. So I was just like a little bit stressed about that, but she now has an adopter and they're driving down now. They are coming from Boston actually, which is so funny because I feel like I know that city so I'll know where she is. And yeah, so I'm definitely a little bit emotional. I did get a little teary eyed last night when I got the text, but it's for the best and you know, for my lifestyle right now, puppy doesn't make any sense in the past two weeks. It's only been like two weeks and like four days, like two and a half weeks have been really tiring. Not only just with work, but I think having Zoe, it's, it's having a puppy is a full-time job. And we just have a small space, so it doesn't really work for her. I'm happy she got a home, but I'm of course also sad. So I'm just gonna keep filming a little bit of today, like getting prepped and ready for the adopters to come. It is currently 12.47 and they said that they would get here around three. So I'm gonna take her for a walk at like 2.30. So then that way, hopefully she does all of her business right before she gets into the car for like three hours. I don't know how she's gonna do for those three hours, but Amanda and I were saying that we we're excited to get the apartment back to its original state with like the rug down and I'm gonna do so much deep cleaning and I think that will be very therapeutic for me because I am kind of a neat freak and a clean freak. So having the apartment be this like dirty and messy just with like the wear and tear of having Zoe has been a lot. <laughs> I think fostering Amanda and I will probably do it again, just not for another few months. Yeah, but it's been a really good experience and I really enjoyed it. And I think it's been a good introduction into puppy life, I think. Now I feel more ready if I were to get a puppy down the line. And I think the more we foster, the more we'll feel that way about getting a dog in the future. So that's kind of my review of being a foster mum. It is not for the faint hearted, and but I really do recommend it. I think fostering is also just like a really lovely thing to do. This puppy has a home and we were just able to help her get there, which is so cute. I. I'm like, am I gonna cry with these random people when I have to give her away? Like that seems dramatic. And also I feel like they'll be like, are you okay? We just took a nice little nap on the couch together. Our last nap together. I feel really bad because they've been driving for like four and a half hours. So, and just like that, I don't have a puppy anymore. <laughs> I didn't film anything because um, I was FaceTiming Amanda for the whole interaction so that she could also see the goodbye. I held it together while I was in front of them, so that was good. Oh my god, why am I so emotional? Now going to probably cry some more and then deep clean this apartment. And I do have to pack some orders for my Etsy shop, so lots of things to distract myself. Mm -hmm. 